to uh, Shivani, who joins me uh, from Surat, uh, who's outside that hotel in Surat, uh, where this important meeting is taking place between Shinde, the person who has led this coup, and of course, uh, Uddhav Thakre's emissary. And we are being told that Shinde has given an ultimatum to the Bharatiya Janta Party, uh, to rather the uh, Uddhav Thakre camp, saying that go back to the BJP or forget us. Is this really the bottom line here, Shivani? Is this the bottom line? Well, definitely here. Yeah. That is why it clearly seems that, you know, different ultimatums, different meetings are taking place, Rahul. And that is why what we are also given to understand that uh, Eknath Shinde uh, has put forth some of his terms and condition. And also, uh, CM Uttar Thakur's personal secretary, Minin Narvika, those have reached to uh, Mr. Shinde, has also given him some instructions with regards to what party has a thought uh, with respect to Mr. Shinde's role in the party. In fact, uh, you know, the way the constant dealing those are taking place. The way Shinde took 11 MLAs along with him yeah, when last night he was traveling towards Surat. And more people were also traveling back uh uh, while supporting uh, Egna Shinde. So now terms and condition is what we are seeing. That is a, a you know, the important meeting that is taking place between uh, CM's personal secretary and Egna Shinde. Earlier Egna Shinde was not ready to even meet uh, uh, Mr. Milin Narvekar. And now when he's meeting, very limited time that has been given. Uh, Egna Shinde has also given some ultimatum and now he has also received some of the terms and condition with regards to his role in the party. So of course we'll see. Now it is somewhere we can see that Milin Narvegar is bringing out all the straight words of uh, CM Uddhav Thakare. And interestingly, if uh, Shinde will accept those terms and conditions, if Shinde will agree to any of those conditions, then, uh, of course, there will be uh, uh, some kind of changes that we'll see. But definitely now, Shinde was clearly denied for accepting any terms and conditions. Clearly says only one thing, that he will not compromise on Hindutva line. Well, this is very, very important. Uh, Shivani reporting from the side of that very crucial make or break meeting. If that meeting doesn't fructify into a positive result for the Shiv Sena, it's curtains. Because as far as Eknan Shinde is concerned, he's lost to the Uddhav Thakre camp. I want to go straight back now to uh, Arunil. Arunil, you're outside, of course, Varsha. We are also being told that Milind Narvekar is trying, pleading pleading with Shinde to speak on the telephone with Uddhav Thakre. What's the re relationship between Shinde and Uddhav Thakre? And uh, just talk us a little bit about the demand that has been made. Was Shinde someone who was very upset with the Shiv Sena for dumping the BJP? Or is this suddenly come out of uh, pretty much the woodwork? Well, Rahul, the first question that you asked me, what is the relation between Eknath Shinde and Siddhar Thakre? Now, recently there was a movie that was produced by Eknath Shinde. The movie was supposed to be on Anand Dige, the mentor of Eknath Shinde, the leader from uh, Thane. However, after interval, uh, it, is, it was Eknath Shinde who became the main protagonist. He was the main uh, hero of the film. And that had reportedly irked Matoshri to a very large extent. Because if you look at uh, the function functioning of uh, the Shiv Sena party, nobody outside the Thakare family can be a hero according uh, to the Shiv Sena. And Eknath Shinde basically had taken that plunge, uh, portraying himself as a hero and the Masiya of the party. And that is when probably there were differences that had cropped up between uh, Eknath Shinde and uh, uh, the Matushri, that is CM Uddhav Thakre's uh, camp. And now this plunge that Eknath Shinde has taken, uh, going with as many as more than 30 MLAs uh, with him, has clearly mounted uh, pressure on uh, CM Uddhav Thakre. Eknath Shinde indeed uh, has been a uh, shift senic right from his uh, start. He has only been with one party, he ha he belongs to the Sena bastion of Thane in the outskirts of uh, Mumbai. Uh, but and that is why there are desperate attempts, des desperate pleas being made uh, by the Shiv Sena. We heard Sanjay Raut also saying that Ekna Shinde is a true Sh uh, Shiv Senaik. Ekna Shinde is a born Shiv Senaik. That is what uh, Sanjay Raut said, and we are hoping and he will definitely come back to us. That is what Sanjay Raut uh, repeatedly said uh, when he was speaking to the media. But is that going to happen? And what was basically the main uh, point of altercation or m main point that led to these Arunil, differences. I need to 